Greetings from Hemingway Memorial AME Church, where our pastor is Reverend Chris Natison, Lady Tanya Natison, and the Natison family. Today is March 13th. My name is Sharon Ross, and we are in week five during our Lenten season where we're taking talking about the subject unplugging studying the Word of God. During the Lent season, studying the Word of God is a very important part of our spiritual growth. 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. This is our prayer starting today that I'm going to be a doer and a digger of the word. I am going to let your holy word have first place in my life and study it so that I can rightly divide it and not be ashamed. I also ask God that you allow me to experience your word visually while reading and meditating on it. Psalms 119.05, your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. This verse compares the study of God's word to a lamp that guides believers on the path of life. It emphasizes that by studying the Bible, believers are given the light they need to navigate difficult circumstances, and make wise decisions. God's word is personal, practical, and powerful. The word shines light onto our personal path to show our feet attached to our personal bodies the way to go. God's word is so powerful that it directs us on our in our personal lives. This world that we live in is filled with uncertainty and confusion where moral and ethical values are often blurred. God's word reminds us of his unwavering truth and reliability. It reassures us that no matter how dark the path may seem, we can find solace and direction in the timeless teachings of scripture. Let us memorize the Holy Scripture because it helps us to see Jesus because it's the only book that has power to transform our hearts, because it helps us fight sin, because it comforts our hearts and reminds us of God's promises, and because doing so will press us to know the love of God. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Let God's word direct our path. By studying God's word, we are building up our spiritual strength for the resurrection.